What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we repulsed a British invasion force, but the main thing we did was we secured Vienna and Hungary, which then allowed us to make peace with the Ottoman Empire, such that it's poor spies out of their territories, so we don't get uh, complaints about espionage. Yes, the army, the cities are being rebuilt, the armies are being replenished, Poland is looking like it wants to get back into the action, so we are redeploying Mr. Farber to the east, ready to bring war to the Polish, and we're bringing in very, very healthy amounts of cash. We've also got this force here, under Jonas Frankfurter, who is going to head west and sail over to the Americas, and probably take Cuba from the Spanish Empire. Cuba and Santo Domingo would be a good start, I think. Let me to branch out and take out the pirates. Yeah, those are sloops recruited for the north. Okay, let's check my tech. I do have I do have measuring tools. Yeah, I need to start incrementally upgrading more of my roads to to metalled roads. Need to start implementing my road building initiative to make it easier for my troops to redeploy around my kingdom. Especially when the likes of Poland, I mean, look, clearly they, they're they redeploying a lot of troops to the front line. The Ottomans just took a big hit at Vienna. Actually, the army that's currently building in Berlin can probably come down to Hungary and act as the garrison. You don't need a very good army necessarily to defend the uh, to defend uh, a fortified town simply because you can put out a ridiculous amount of firepower and attacking a fortification in Empire Total War is difficult. I didn't put a spy out of Sarajevo. The Ottomans haven't given up. They they want to carry on the war. Really, I think I, sh I, I should knock out Great Britain and Denmark and secure my northern flank so I can focus south and east. Really, that's what I should be doing. So maybe in Paris I'll build up another army to land in London. Take the war to the British. And destroy them once and for all. So that might might free up the United. It might turn the thirteen colonies into the United States, which would be a bit different. That's not going to help. So yeah, I'm going to need to attack Iceland as well. Uh, maybe Mister Despo, Mister Mister Toberman, you might be recalled. Oh, Mister Farber, sorry, you're going to be recalled. Actually, you're going to go to here. Cuxhaven. Recruit two sloops. You might even attack Iceland on your way across the channel. Away across the Atlantic. Let's build a sloop. Oops. Again, I can build two sloops because one's going to transport the troops, another's going to. Okay, so that means this militia unit can go over to Berlin. Got 4,000. Everyone's already replenishing. Let's repair the gold mine and let's repair. Let's meagle gold mine. But let's make. Let's begin what I've said I wanted to do. And let's begin my road building initiative. You men can. Re well, no one can replenish. Let's combine the troops and replenish that force there. Good. Okay. Because ultimately we can't go anywhere else, except maybe here, to ship my army across, because they've got these two fleets here, keeping an eye on us. Okay, one more turn until we've got naval shore facilities. Port blockaded, yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, so you are going to clear out Reykjavik on your way across the Atlantic. You're going to clear the way for my troops. Okay, so next turn we're going to get 
Naval shore facilities. Württemberg is a new garrison building. Actually, make sure everyone's being taxed. Ha ha! Munich's not being taxed. Brandenburg's not being taxed. Boom. Screw you, Denmark. We're back up to 12 grand. 10 turns till Kosin gets developed, which is over here. So that's going to be ripe to be raided. You could do with more infantry to replace your militia. But let's, let's find out what the field is like. I don't mind Spanish priests wandering around because all they're doing is converting people to my religion anyway. They're still demanding things. I'm never going to give you Saxony, Poland. It's never going to happen. Okay, right, maybe the attack on Britain does need to be... Okay, I'm just flip-flopping. Maybe the attack on Britain does need to be postponed because it's it looks clear that Poland wants to try and get up some mischief. So at least with that force that's going to sail and take Reykjavik, that'll deal with the Danish blockade. There's some good early warning on Ottoman movement. But I need to start upgrading my economy, really. I've sunk a lot of expensive... Uh, that sentence doesn't make sense. I've sunk a lot of cash into, rep uh, into repairing my armies and rebuilding Vienna. But I haven't really laid the foundations for a strong economy. I can, I can upgrade so many things. That's the challenge. Russia's still being Russia. Hopefully they're still at war with Sweden. That'll keep them at each other's throats and let them ignore me. So Venice is getting ready to send a expeditionary force somewhere. Thirteen thousand. Got naval shore facilities. Okay, let's upgrade the college. Spanish agents trying to kill my gentlemen. Okay, so I want to keep building roads. Get you guys both up to Cobble Road standard at least. Get this Weaver's Cottage built, because that'll be a good upgrade. You are going to have to be redeployed. So let's cancel the second sloop. Let's ignore that agent. Get you men deployed aboard ship. Land off the coast of Reykjavik, so it looks like they've got their ports blockade, their ports occupied. Yeah. Not a real army. Alvar Finke. Are you in there? Okay, we've occupied it, so we've Damaged it, we've cut off some trade, so next turn Jonas Frankfurter will take Reykjavik. Toulouse has grown. Okay. How much resistance to yeah, and impact of industrialization is pretty big. And considering we've got a pleasure garden and we can only upgrade one more building to a max level pleasure garden. And we've also got loads of industry buildings that can be upgraded still. Let's also upgrade you to a coaching inn. 
keep people happy. Brussels and Berlin have got cobbled roads, which is good news. Let's upgrade the craft workshop to an iron workshop is probably the best bet. Ultimately, Stuttgart, you don't need the Bordy House anymore. But you're fairly happy as it is anyway. Probably the same th story here with Cologne. But then again, Cologne does have three industrial buildings, so you actually that's probably better. Here, it's only one industrial building. Uh, do you have to destroy the coffee house? Keep the coffee house, but this will be upgraded to a smith's. But first of all, let's build a upgrade the mine behind the lines. Actually, let's spend some money on some artillery for these chaps, because this force will be ready to hit Breslau should Poland elect to cause any issues. So Vienna, well, I mean, they got lots of resistance, resistance to foreign occupation, but they should come around fairly quick. Okay, so Orléans gone on to Sextant, that's okay. Coburg, I mean, you've got joint stock companies and you've gone to separation of powers. Again, that's good for the boost per turn to turn wealth. Wealth of Nations is better, but let's go for separation of powers for now because it is quicker. Yeah, we've seen your Spanish agent. So let's take this agent out of the town. Okay, yeah. A lot of trade has been blockaded because of this scamp. We want to upgrade Rostock as well. I mean, it's only a brig. I could, max, I could mass my ships to take it out, but there's no point because we're about to take their capital. I don't mind having my agent in Gdansk, because that's just annoying the Poles. I know they want to make war against us, which means I want to... France? Okay, let's see how many of their allies join them. None. You idiot, France. Ooh, actually, with, this, with the Spanish down there, that could be a bit of a pickle. So with the army that's being recruited in Berlin, they are going to march west to southern France. They're going to march west to southern France and pick up some better cavalry along the way in Munich. And again, this is where my road building program would have come in real handy. Because we'll have been able to have redeployed our armies across our empire so much faster. But I suppose not. Not not quite yet. Lots of these frontier Ottoman towns are actually quite badly developed. It's a good indicator for us in the long term. But yeah, so if we're going to send an army to southern France, we do have a significant amount of probably militia, but we've also got a Spanish territory there in Milan. Not Milan. Yeah, Milan. So we're going to want a good army down there to bring war to the enemy as swiftly and as brutally as possible. And I also want to start recruiting my Hungary garrison. Oh, you beauties. And is that your garrison that you've just moved out of your capital? It is. You dummies. I'm imagining that was a good idea. Yeah, so you guys march to down here. We're going to recruit the general Martin Mering. Hohenzollern, Cursier Regiment, let's get a Hussar and a Freikorps Cavalry. 
three recruitment slots left. Get a howitzer plus a line infantry guard and a grenadier guard. Good. In two turns, you'll be ready. Because, yeah, that's quite a lot of troops. Although they're all going to be militia, probably. Well, that's a good French army. Okay. Okay, you're still being upgraded. Ah, okay, so I can't actually recruit the troops I want. It says recruit four infantry. They're going to go straight over to Hungary. And then that will free up this army to redeploy to a bit more of an offensive position. Otherwise, Mr. Frankfurter... I mean, let's go attack Reykjavik and take out the Danish capital. Then this army can replenish and then get ready to sail onward to the Americas. To Cuba and Santo Domingo, that will give us some valuable trade income. But it's very, very nice of them to move their garrison out of the town completely. Love their militia brigade. Up front, regular militia brigade. On the right, infantry swarm around the left flank. Cavalry on the right, guns behind the line. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha. Get my Dragoons in here, quick. Yep, and here comes the Howitzers. But let's also retarget my... all my artillery against that unit of garrison line. This is going to be a bit of a mopping up battle, because I'm just surging troops forward. Knock out the more to garrison units. So the general fallen. So you men charge. You men charge. That garrison militia unit. You men just run around the flank. Charge the provincial line. Just go mad. So I'm citizen units here. They've got a volley into my marines. And my marines and the Fry Corps are not going to let this stand. No sir. Down you go. Swarm, swarm, swarm. You men all swarm against the garrison line. This is what happens when I have overwhelming advantage. I get real dumb. Smash. Yeah, so that garrison line infantry unit is going down. This one-on-one -on -one I would normally lose because it's militia versus line infantry, but because I've just stacked everyone into this combat. Yeah, there we go. Straight on into the eighth. And then a big massive infantry have smashed into the seventh regiment here. 
My militia might not be better than their infantry, but they're good enough. Plus with my dragoons backing them up. These guys have plenty of things going for them. Especially my, my militia is actually quite elite. So in the melee, they're probably pretty good. They're better than my line infantry in melee, in general. But there we go. Stupid battle. Dumb battle. But I'll take it. Nice. Okay, I'm going to wait until next turn to be fully replenished. You guys get into port. Get rid of Hoffen. But there we go. There goes that Danish fleet that was blockading our ports. Now we're on for 19,000 next turn because we have a huge trade empire. Let's hit end turn. We can really make some good investments here. Yep, ooh, see France is on the move, but apparently not. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Poland declared war on us and brought in calling in all their allies. The Ottomans didn't join them though. You made a mistake, Poland. A great big whopping mistake. Such as you can't actually make it to again this pile, that's my road building initiative or lack thereof, because they didn't because they didn't have my road building initiative, they couldn't make it to uh, they couldn't make it to Berlin. If we had tarmac roads, they might have made it. But this is it, Poland. You die now. That's what happens. So the first thing I want to do is upgrade my port in Berlin that's caught, that's bringing all my trade. Or bring in most of my trade at least. Ultimately the Ottomans are likely to wait for an opportunity like now to declare war on me again. Well I'm just at war with everybody. Apart from that, though, I think uh, the Ottoman, the Poles are about to get smacked. Okay, good. So, take all of you except for one, two, three, three units of infantry. Some new men can join. Mr. Tobelman, new men bolster the garrison. Build another. Ooh, I could build a. Just build a turn's worth of infantry to sit in the town. 14 grand, though. We want to make sure we spend this wisely. So, we do want to drop a lot of it on economy upgrades. Especially the more valuable ones. Actually, that's a bit too expensive. Need to repair you, rebuild you. Repair the parliament chamber, replenish this army, and then next turn they'll be ready to march. We'll take Mr. Farber here and smack this Polish army and send them scuttling to the east. Let's have at it. Let's take them out. Then we've got the force to the south that's come out of Hungary is going to attack. They're going to attack the Poles outside Silesia and then secure that territory. This force can, is free to then pursue or to advance towards Gdansk and Konigsberg to the north. Big mistake, Poland. Big, big mistake. Get my guns up onto the high ground. But this is going to be an encirclement battle. The battlefield is flat like a pool table. And we want to use that and maximise our 
enormous firepower. You still need heavy cavalry, I keep forgetting that. Okay, so the units of my centre here. Don't be shy, we want to move up. We want battle. You men are going to secure the high ground. My gun team get up just to this crest here. You fools. Why did you declare war on us? It's exactly what I wanted to happen. So we've got the high ground. Enemy cavalry is on the move. Provincial cavalry, yeah, they're ripe for the taking. Infantry line here. Yeah, the Provincial Cavalry are broken. Fall back, take my right flank, and continue to ratchet forward because the enemy are digging in. Unlimber my guns. Get my general up front. New men advance up to here, slowly. You men advance up in front of these buildings. And then you men advance around the rear. You men run. Because these are all skirmishes. If you want to get into, into fisticuffs, we can. There's a marines dug into the rear. We're not going to charge. We're going to let them shoot. Well, they've elected to charge us, which is more fool them. The artillery's slamming home. There we go, the volley fire that's going to get put down is going to be biblical. So you men form line. Yeah, we've got into some skirmishes here on this flank, but then again it is mostly low quality Polish infantry. Third foot guards to the front. You're right, so this this has worked according to plan. They're engaging my cavalry at long range, let's go take them out. Let's get my general Out on the flank. Retarget my guns. Let's mop up some marines. If we can knock out the irregulars. We've got a good shot, I think, of surrounding the poles.
Well, at the minute, we're doing quite a good job at just... Okay, where's my general? Get him over here. Rapido. Let's recommit this cavalry unit. You men mop up the warband. Get both my guns to engage the 26th regiment. You guys chase down the 7th. You guys chase down the 1st. So much beautiful slaughter. General's bodyguard were not overly bothered, with, but bothered about. If they come back, they come back. If they don't, they don't. So I want you guys to keep attacking the marines. And then these chaps advance. To be honest, this is... This is <laughs> This was GG long ago. General's bodyguard chased down the 3rd regiment of foot. He goes chased down the 7th. So hopefully you guys... Yeah, you've got the warband, so hit the militia. General hit the marines. You guys hit their general. Target the guns against the last unit of irregulars. Silly Poland. Look what's happened. So there goes that unit of irregulars, militia, line line infantry units more together there's one irregular unit that's still fighting there we go not fighting anymore Cease fire the guns. Keep on slaughtering. Oh, if you guys can get him, there's only one guy there. That'd be great. A good little secondary win. him. Come over here and help attack those units, although they're not going to get them because they're too spread out. The 26th has done a sterling job. Those guerrillas have been knocked out. Everyone go after the 9th regiment because those guys are going to escape. And we might have been able to chase them down, but ultimately we've done very, very well. In the meantime... Nah, they're going to escape, and now... These Irregulars are going to escape. Imagine that running, knowing there's about, what, 300 cavalry chasing after you, looking to slaughter you. Yeah, they slowly, they slightly changed direction, which made it possible for them to escape. But yes, decisive is completely right. Oh, the entire army just gone. Poof. See men replenish. Advance up towards Breslau. Put them at risk. We've got 3,000 cash. My reinforcement of Mr. Mering is still going to happen according to plan, so let's not worry about doing anything there. Okay, let's get 
some more road upgrades. Just because road upgrades are good. Especially in Central Europe. Like a treasury minister is just a beast. And he's 47, so he's not going to die very soon either. Good. So Rostock's growing. One more turn till we've got separation of powers. One more turn till we've got sextant. Two more turns to explosive shells. Good. You've made a mistake, Poland. Got a lot of troops here, but I don't think they're going to help you. Yeah, it's a bit weird that that happens sometimes during the end turn phase. I mean, I know what it is, it's just the units combining, but I don't know why it stops and I still have control. Yeah, here come the French. They can try and get up to no good, but it's not going to work. Spain's going to do some blockading, by the looks of it, with a privateer. You're more than welcome to. I got bigger fish to fry. Mm. Okay, so I need to recruit some troops in Berlin. Ooh, you're actually... A, it's a bit... I was about to say it's a bit dodgy. It's not really, because these armies aren't within range. But we can destroy these forces here maybe you and you so this concentrate set this area of enemy power here will be gone but what i'd actually like to do is try and withdraw i don't like how uh, easy it might be for them to take berlin i need to recruit a garrison in vienna as well and free up those troops for further operations in the east against the Poles. Because right now they've got too many too many exploitation routes to attack me that I can't actually prevent. Now ultimately the troops have the troops that have retreated, they've retreated east towards Warsaw, so that could actually cause more of a problem for the enemy. Because I can put their capital under siege. Or one of their capitals under siege. Depends if... with Because it's the Kingdom of Poland, Lithuania. It depends if the Poland or the Lithuania bit's more important. Okay, you guys are going to auto that force there. Just to make sure they die. Mr. Mering tail it down to France. Everyone that's currently trying to join them still join them but he's going to move first. But you're not trying to join them. You guys plenish. Okay. So yeah, put Warsaw in the siege. I, mean, I could take it but I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Because I want to take Mr. Tauber out of Austria. Put you guys in. Upgrade. You two military governors barracks. Recruit a good block of infantry. Upgrade this mine and upgrade. Uh, maybe upgrade one of these industry buildings up to the next level at 4,000 cash. Because I was thinking the reason why I retreated was because this army can knock out these chaps fairly easy. You guys can swing north then east into Komel Paluciniak. Force them eastward. And then the troops to the north can push against Breslau or the troops near Breslau take them out then we take Warsaw because then we will have a, a clear run to the city rather than taking the city and something go badly wrong and suddenly I've got an occupied city behind the front lines that I need to defend 
Not that I expect anything will go disaster badly wrong. Okay. So I like the high ground here. We're going to advance ahead of the enemy. We're going to advance ahead of the guns. Again, because my entire strategy for my conventional armies relies on maximising use of firepower, I am going to be merciless in using it. Heavy cavalry. A significant amount of heavy cavalry in this force. But surround the enemy and destroy them. It's incredibly effective. See their cavalry on the right flank. Uh, see the terrain's a bit a bit iffy for guns. Well, first of all, commit my cavalry. All you guys go into square. Provincial cavalry, provincial cavalry. bad call. You don't go up here because it's actually quite a long route to get around and down onto the plane because these features are impassable. Yeah, see? Provincial cavalry is just not very good. Dragoons have dismounted. So my howitzer focus on the unit of marines. To be honest, the dragoon units smash into that unit there. One of my cavalry units pursue the general's bodyguard. Smash into the 24th Vile Dragoons. I've got that back to front. I should probably have sent my heavy cavalry versus the infantry. Okay, not go clear out those guerrilla mercenaries. You guys need to do something, otherwise you're going to get caught out. You men bear to charge the first regiment of dragoons. You men position on the flank. My musket infantry can charge the Dragoons on foot. That will cause them great concern. Enemy Dragoons are shattered. Form line to continue engaging. You men continue to slaughter the infantry there. Third Horse Guards I'm mowing down the 1st Regiment of Foot. Keep attacking them. The 4th Horse Guards have destroyed the 19th Regiment. Get my General's Bodyguard to chase down the Dragoons. My Val Dragoons continue to destroy the enemy as they flee. Some reinforcements coming in. men push up the flank. Actually, you guys go after the 10th foot guards. Prevent them from repositioning. You guys go after the general's bodyguard. Ultimately, the enemy is destroyed. Absolutely shattered. So let's take two units of line. Get up here towards the the reinforcing militia. My guns can unlimber and engage the 4th Regiment. Do 
enemy generals being killed. So you guys take out the 10th, you guys go after the 5th. Militia and irregulars, that's fine. Cease fire the guns. Such slaughter. 15th the better one to kill because they're a bit closer together. There goes another Polish marine unit. Poor, poor Poland. They started this war, what has it achieved? The forces in the field have just been completely crushed. Got one last Marine. He's taken out. So you guys keep on attacking. Well, let's just speed this one up, to be honest. Such slaughter, such beautiful slaughter. Yep, yeah, we've sent some irregulars in. But ultimately, all of this infantry is enough, because these are just irregulars and militia, which are just pretty... pretty pants units, really. Okay, both of you gang up on the 18th. Okay, good. All going up on one unit at least. There's another unit knocked out. Go and attack the fourth. You guys, they're going to rout. So it's all on the 18th, which is everywhere. Yeah, this is what happens when they spread out. They can be really, really difficult to actually kill the unit. But nevertheless, we've knocked them down to seven men. That's quite a significant loss for the Polish. Not even 500 men lost for more than 2,700 men killed. Obviously, my cavalry is right up there. You fools. You thought you had a chance. Mr. Farber advanced towards Oda Farmland. That doesn't draw in the garrison, but it draws in this force plus this force here. So let's continue to attack the enemy. And then this army will lay siege to Silesia. Not attack it yet, probably. But we will, we will lay siege to it to pin the troops inside the fortress and prevent them from causing too much chaos. Okay, but get my guns on this high ground to the rear. The undulating terrain is a bit odd. Front line. Reinforcements or reserves. I'm not quite sure where the enemy troops are going to come in. Okay, as expected. They're coming in from where we would expect them to come in. That's fair enough. Well, it is tempting to, 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 to just deploy my reserves against the reinforcements alone. I 
just get out there and mow them down. My guns have done a real number on their horse artillery. Speed up time while my guys are just deploying. Get my artillery to focus on. Well, they probably can't focus on the marines because targeting units that are dug in is a bit iffy. Advance my line. My reserves that are going to be very tired by now are also pushing up. But there we go. We got our we got our troops in position. of artillery hitting the first lancers. They've done quite a good job. Sig foot guards. Mowed down. There's the fourth foot guards. I'm sure we've already killed the fourth foot guards. That's a new unit they've brought back from the brink. Yeah, these poor devils, because they don't have fire by rank. We're just going to sweep them off the battlefield. <laughs> These marines have taken a bit of a hammering. I suppose they've, they've not really had a chance to fire back. They're, actually, they're being fired upon by three units. That's the reason why they're a bit upset. Guys facing the enemy reinforcements. It's the enemy general's bodyguard. It's going to charge my cavalry or attempt to. The fool, he's advancing in the worst kind of column formation. Okay, send one line of infantry unit to try and dislodge those marines. General's bodyguard's gonna destroy himself trying to charge into my line. Yep, he's been shot to pieces. Enemy general has fallen. Deploy my cavalry out wide, so once the marines abandon their position, we can sweep in and destroy them. We'll be able to knock out these irregulars first. Maybe even those guerrilla mercenaries. Abandon their position. Poor old warband unit. Skirmishers charging in into melee combat. How desperate must they be? There we go, the second regiment. The second foot guards have been cut to ribbons. They might even break before the infantry get there. Beautiful. So the 6th. 6th Regiment chased them down. 3rd Regiment redeploy. So there's a unit of engineers here that looks like they want to get up to, up to some mischief. Get this cavalry back across the centre. Get my gunners attacking the 1st Lancers who are forming Diamond Formation. They want to form a square. Let's 
to be honest. The enemy's done for. We're killing a good number of foot guard units here. The fourth foot guard's just got shot by a bunch of their own infantry. Get these dragoons into the mix. They could probably hit the back of the mercenary infantry and cause them to rout, if I am lucky. There's one last marine. Good, he's been knocked out. Attack the 5th Regiment of Foot. These irregulars are going to get mown down by fire by rank. Poor souls. Commit the general into the into the pursuit. Okay, you've been both chased down the fourth foot guards. Get my mercenaries in against the lancers. Same with my second foot guards. It's because they're all so spread out. That's what makes them so difficult to destroy. Cease fire the guns. More militia on the high ground. Poor old mercenaries. Then all of you go take out the second regiment. Keep mowing them down. General's bodyguard go after these irregulars. Everybody except my dragoons here just form up. Yeah, destroying these fourth foot guards is going to be difficult business. To be honest, most of the things here are going to escape. Try pursue that unit of irregulars, you're probably not going to make it. They're going to escape for sure. That means it's going to be everyone versus the second regiment of militia. Oh, maybe the other unit is going to. Ah, did manage to escape. There's only one left. But still, that's yet another decisive victory against the troops of the Polish Empire. Back you men go. So then my army, which doesn't have the strength to attack the city, but does have the strength to siege the city. Excellent. So suddenly you guys aren't looking so useless anymore. So you guys are recruiting, you guys recruit Recruit some guns, because they'll, they'll be use, useful at least. We've got 2,000. Let's upgrade some farms. Because farms are cheap. Farms are handy. Actually, let's not build all the farms. Build another sloop. Because you guys can leave Reykjavik. Get to the trading port. Embark. Sail over to the Americas. Good stuff. Okay, so we've got Sextant and we've got Separation of Powers. So don't go for Rights of Man, Coburg. Go for Wealth of Nations. Orleans, don't go for that. Go for Longitude Watch. We've got some road upgrades. 15,898. 
next turn. Okay, one more turn to get explosive at Carcass Shot. Then we get Guttery School, and we can start to try and press down towards the next level artillery building to speed our way along to Quicklime. Ooh, they almost made it to Paris. Almost. Yeah, watch out, Poland. If I were you, I wouldn't be quite so uh, keen to get up to mischief. Ultimately, they've, they're trying to break through to the north, so it's very tempting to take try to take Gdansk and Warsaw and go for a limited peace. Get them out of my territory. Ooh, they're sallying out of Breslau. Mm. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time for the destruction of the Breslau garrison. Cheers, everyone.